Hello and welcome back to the Brave Souls. Thank you again for tuning in and today I want to show you something about the FISH plugin. And the FISH plugin is very wonderful because you can do a lot of nice things with it. Uh, you can upgrade the fishing as you know it. Uh, you have a fish uh, rod. Normally you have a fish rod uh, that you can uh, can make to Lock of the Sea 3, Lure 3, Mending and Unbreaking 3. Um, and yeah, with this you can fish everywhere where you want and then can collect uh, the different types of fish from the different types of zone. I will explain that uh, a little bit uh, later in another uh, video. Um, this will be also a part of four videos that I make about the fish plugin because there's too much to tell to put it in one. Um, so you can start with this fishing rod and the max you can make it um, normal without the extras is luck of the sea 10, lure 10, mending and yeah and breaking you can do 10 if you want but if there's mending on it uh, then it's no need for it because while you're fishing you will get XP and it will be repaired constantly so Putting it above and breaking three is not really necessary, but if you want to feel safe, you can make it 10 if you like. And then there's also a possibility to make it even further. And for that, we will need the fish menu. If you open the fish menu, there is a lot of things in here. And with those things, you can upgrade your fishing uh, even further than with only the luck of the sea, the lure 10, and um, you can upgrade it further with a few things. And I will explain some in other videos more in detail, but there's a totem you can use. With the totem, you will get a lot of benefits, will be explained later. Uh, you have the augments. I will go a little bit more in depth about the augments uh, in this video. And you have a bait store fishing skills, gutting station. I will explain that uh, in another video. The fish bag itself, the scales, the codex, the delivery system, and the cell shop. I will start with the fish cell shop. When you come here and you want to sell fish, it doesn't matter what fish you have, um, if you have a bronze fish or gold fish or normal fish, you can put it in here. And once you exit it, it will be automatically sell for raw money. But in the beginning, uh, the normal fish, if you sell it and you want some raw money for it, that's nice. But you need entropy to upgrade your fishing rod further. So I would advise to keep on your special fish so you can uh, use it later for the augment system. And I will explain that in another video. The delivery system is also very nice. For every 180 fish you catch, you will get a delivery. And with this delivery system, um, you can uh, get extras um, for delivering the fish that this special delivery from Shiro, by example, wants. Uh, this uh, type of uh, delivery wants five squids, five shrimps, five sardine, and five herring. And for this you will receive four crab claws and 8,000 entropy. And entropy is the currency you will need to upgrade your rod further. And the time to make this is 30 minutes. So once you deliver the fish to him, um, you will have 30 minutes later you can collect it. And I will show you right now how you will be able uh, to do this. And you have the deliveries. Um, what I told before, it needs a certain types of fish. I have the fish here in my bag. There's a little bit more in here than I really need. But that's no problem. Because when I click uh, to activate this certain quest, delivery quest, it will automatically, as you see in my bag, uh, grab the fish that is needed for this special delivery. So now you see that it is changed from a yeah, paper to a minecart and I have to wait now for 29 minutes and 59 seconds 
unless that is finished, I'm be able to collect this certain type of delivery. The next thing I want to explain to you is the codex in this video, and that is the type of fish that you're able to catch. So when you have a normal rod or an, uh, like this one, or a special high rod like this one, um, you will be able to catch this particular type of fish. And there are branch fish, there are silver fish, goldfish, diamond fish, platinum fish, and the very beautiful, expensive, mythical fish. There's a difference between this fish, uh, not only the name, but uh, these are the, the lowest types of fish. Uh, they're the easiest to catch, not all of them, because some will come from different biomes. And that is why I open this part now. There's a biome uh, part here. Um, by example, if you want this koi fish, you can get this koi fish from uh, the savanna, the rivers, the jungle, or the snowy beach. Nowhere else uh, are they able to catch. Only um, when you upgrade the fishing rod with a special uh, special upgrade, and I will explain that in a different video. So the different, what I said before, there are different types of fish. You can catch them in different kind of biomes. This type of fish, by example, the sturgeon, you can collect in every biome. So wherever you are, there's a chance that you will get the sturgeon. But if you want the Trochtor, the Hydrogenator, you can get this only in the plains biome. Um, there is a way to have a chance to collect this special fish, like I said before, in uh, the one biome where you are now, by example, uh, with a special skill, and that will be explained uh, in another part of the video. Um, the other types of fish that are uh, even the gold, they all have uh, the different biomes where you can collect them. It's uh, an RNG change if you can collect uh, higher types of fish. Uh, there are upgrades for your fishing rod where you can increase your chance uh, to get this better fish. Um, that will be as well explained in the next uh, video. And the way that you can do that, and I will slash fish and then augments with an S, you will see all the augments uh, there are that you can uh, yeah, make and then you can upgrade it on your fishing rod. I will explain in another video how to make them and I will show you in this video uh, some of the recipes that you can use for it. Um, but you have, uh, by example, hotspot, and for hotspot, uh, when you do this, it adds one level to it. There's a uh, required fishing level at least as 10, so you need to be at uh, level 10 in fishing to be able to use this. And to make one will cost you uh, 50,000 uh, entropy. And the max level you can do this is level 13. So you can only make 13 of this for on your fishing rod. You can make even more if you want to and try to sell it. But it is a lot of uh, investment to make uh, this one. The recipe for it, by example, is 16 glinstering melon slices, 32 strings, 3 golden apples, 1 oak boat and 4 dolphin tails. Uh, the dolphin tails you can collect uh, with a looting sword and then uh, try to kill the dolphins. Uh, you can also uh, kill squids and there's also a squid tail that you can uh, collect. It's a uh, RNG chance, so uh, for the dolphins they drop more common. Uh, for the squids you need to kill a lot more to get the tails. Uh, what will this do? And now, Hotspot will give you a chance to get more than one fish per catch. So you will get more fish for every cast that you make. And that is nice because it's possible that you can get two types of fish. You can even get a bronze fish and a gold fish in one cast. That will make your fishing for later and all the entropy that you can collect from it uh, even faster. This is then the Hotspot. There's also Call of the Storm. When it storms, you will get uh, a uh, higher chance to catch more fish when it's raining. 
Uh, normally you hate the rain, but now it will help you when you have this one. It can only go to level 5. Uh, you have Saturate, um, and Saturate gives you a random chance to refill your hunger bar. I don't think this is very important in the beginning. Uh, this is one that you can do later when you have many uh, um, uh, entropy left and you don't have the use for it anymore and you did all the important ones. Um, so I would choose not to do that one yet. Uh, Sage is a nice one, uh, gives you more fishing XP towards the plugin, so your fishing XP will increase slightly uh, faster. Uh, it has as well, uh, in the bottom you can see a recipe for it, what you all need for it. It's all pretty easy to collect this uh, recipe, but still for every upgrade you still need uh, 57,500 entropy. And the max level for this one is level 10, so yeah, you need 575,000 entropy to make this to the max. The next one is Biome Disruption. Um, gives you a chance to catch random fish from other biomes when fishing. I really like this one uh, in com combination with Hotspot. Uh, this one is very important uh, because uh, if you stand in, uh, by example, the ocean biome, there's a chance that you can collect a fish from uh, the plains biome or maybe from the end. Uh, this can only go to level 3, so it, it doesn't have a very high level, but it is a very nice thing to have extra. So I would say this one is the one that you want to do as fast as possible to level 3. Um, you need a little bit more for it, because this is also a little bit more expensive to make. Like 16 oak logs, 16 snowballs and 32 cents, 32 kelp. Um, one water bucket that's not very expensive it's easy to collect but the 12 dolphin tails yeah they're okay but the crab scales uh, you need to kill a lot of crabs and for that you need to uh, go uh, fish a lot because then you have a chance that the crab will appear and when you kill the crab with a looting short uh, it can uh, yeah, drop uh, the loot and one of them is the crab scales the next uh, augment is precision cutting. It gives you more entropy from a gutting fish when using the gutting station. I will explain that in the second video. Uh, because when you have a lot of fish from one type that you do not need, um, then you can uh, gut the fish and get entropy for it. And that will be explained in video two. The crab bait. And this one uh, gives you a higher chance to catch crabs while fishing. So this is also a very important one because you need a lot of crab claws and crab scales that will drop from the crabs. So this is also one that you would uh, have to prioritize to make your fishing life uh, yeah, more fun. Uh, so you collect, collect more. Um, the water bucket and the strings are very easy, but the crab crawls and the crab scales are a little bit more difficult to get in the beginning. You need to bring it up to level 5 if you want the max for it, so that is uh, 200,000 entropy. And then you need at least uh, yeah, 50 crab claws and 100 uh, crab scales. So it's pretty expensive to make it to level 5, but even if you can make one in the beginning, that would be very nice. It will already help you. Then you have Intellect, gives you more XP from catching fish. Um, yeah, For me, I don't think this is worth it in the beginning. Um, when you're really using a lot of XP, yes, maybe. But uh, for the fishing itself, I would say uh, leave this one for later. The Perception gives you more entropy from catching custom fish. The higher level the augment, the more entropy you will get from catching custom fish. So already this one is as well. A very important one. Uh, it's not very expensive to make but you can bring it up to level 7 and you can see and uh, one level will cost you 75,000 enter fee. So in the beginning this will be a little bit more difficult uh, but yeah things like turtle eggs it's pretty easy to uh, to breed turtles and then uh, have some of the eggs. The nautilus shells are not that difficult to uh, to get. Uh, but the thing that uh, you really need uh, is the crab claws. They are a little bit more difficult to get. Yeah, the glass and the glowstone is pretty easy. The trophy gives you a higher chance to profit from fishing scales. I will explain that in another video. 
as well I don't think this one is in the beginning um, yeah very important to have uh, this is one for later when you already have by example biome disruption hotspot and uh, intellect crab bait and then you can by example do trophy uh, solar rage give you more money when selling the fish in the fish shop uh, for me this one is in the beginning uh, not important because money yes it's nice but you need uh, uh, by example uh, 10 crop claws 10 crop scales and 10 squid tentacles uh, so it's expensive to make it just for money but in the beginning you want to make your fish rod better and faster before you start working on the money so the money will be back later when you upgrade this on a later time uh, you will get faster catching um, and more fish that you catch then the money will be better in the in the future so i would not do this one in the beginning then you have master fisherman and that is giving you a higher chance to catch a higher tier fish so when you're into the special fish so you want uh, uh, more fish that are uh, by example gold or diamond or even platinum uh, this is an augment that will help with that and uh, it's an expensive one to make because one upgrade will cost you 120,000 entropy and it can go to max level of 20 so you need a lot of entropy and of course you will need nether stars gas tear crop claw crop scales, dolphin tails, and squid tentacles, and for every upgrade, too hard of the sea. So this is an expensive one, but as well, a very nice one. So you need to pick your uh, beginning. If you have already some entry fee uh, build up, um, you need to make your choice where you start. This one, I would not say to start here, because this one is in the beginning, just too expensive to do. The next I will explain later in a future video. And for the next things I will explain it in a future video, as well as making the augments. I will give you a, a small uh, tour at the moment uh, what the recipes look like. By example, for biome uh, disruption, you can see it was 60k entropy and you can do maximum level of three. And then you need uh, the oak logs, the snow, the sand, the kelp, the water bucket, the dolphin tails, and you can see here the crab scales. For hotspot, it's a 50k uh, entropy per level, maximum level 13. Then you need the glint string, melon slice, the strings, the golden apples, the oak boat, and the dolphin tails then you need the for the crab bait uh, it's 40k entropy for every level it has a max level of five and for that you need the water bucket the crab claw the crab scales and the 64 strings the perception is 75k entropy is a max level of seven For the perception, you need 75k entropy, and it is max level 7 that you can do it. For this, you will need 32 glass, 4 glowstone, 3 turtle eggs, 3 nautilus shells, and the 10 uh, crab claws. For the intellect, it's 50k entropy per level. Max level is 10. For that, you will need the lapis uh, blocks, 28 books, 8 diamonds, 8 blocks of emerald and 16 crab scales. For the sage, you will need 57,500 entropy per level. The max level was 10. For this, you need eight gold blocks, 16 crab claws, 16 crab scales, three dolphin tails, four gunpowder, 16 redstone dust, and 16 sugar. And for the master fisherman, that is the most expensive one, 120k entropy per level and the max level was 20. For this you will need one nether star, eight cast tears, 16 crab claws, 16 crab scales, eight dolphin tails, 12 squid tentacles and two heart of the sea. And that was it for the master fisherman. And I will give you one uh, small glimpse of the totem that I will explain later in another video. And this is for now, for today, what I wanted to show you about fishing and fishing upgrades. 
in part two i will go more in depth uh, especially with the augment system in part three i will explain at least uh, uh, part of the totem and in part four the last parts that i have missed or still need to do thank you again for watching and tuning in and i will catch you next time on the next video